Hi, welcome. This is uh, a video to just to uh, show a comparison between a lot of the different glow and the dark products out there. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to use glow in the dark powders to detect electrostatic uh, discharges. And one of the problems I'm running into is I don't know. I had no way to compare them. There's no like way of you know like uh, like with at least with LED flashlights and things like that they say this has so many lumens or whatever so you have some kind of comparison couldn't find anything like that so what I did is I went and bought a whole bunch of them to, for comparison purposes and some here are paints that I painted on a white background others are powders okay that you can mix with your own pigment uh, your own uh, bases to make your own uh, or just leave them as powders that could work too and so let me go over what we got here, and then what we'll do is we're going to put them in the sunlight and take them into a dark room and show you what the, how, they'll, how they perform differently. Up here is a Rust-Oleum product that you can get from Home Depot. Um, and you have to put this stuff on thick. One of the problems of putting it on thick is that you see it warps the paper because stuff is water-based. Now, one of the things I'm finding out is these other pigments say do not use water with them because water will ruin or... And so I think with some of these better pigments, we, we want to use something that's not water-based, let's say an epoxy, a clear epoxy or something, but that's another video for another day. Um, these video, these, I'm sorry, these uh, powder, these paints from Glow Nation, or I'm sorry, uh, Glow Ink, are also water-based. And they're interesting because they go on more like a paste, like the paste you would use in arts and craft to paste stuff together. And what's nice about that, it allows you to put it on thick. The problem with it is it doesn't smooth out in case you're looking for a nice finish. Where these other things like from Martha Stewart and Walmart, they actually smooth out um, after the fact so that you get at least more of a uniform coat. But I think I can come up with a way to smooth these out so I get a uniform coat in them. Um, anyway, this is uh, the glowink.com. And this is their green V10, which is supposed to be their best. Then they're ultra blue, pure blue, white, and purple. These colors show up in, in the in the dark. Here's Martha Stewart. Uh, her products look like this. This is a fluorescent glow in the dark finish, and this is the yellow. I only bought two of these. She's got other colors too, but they're expensive, so I want to try them out before I bought the whole set. Um, their paints smooth out. Uh, the problem with this one, the green one, which is the better glowing one is it's very liquidy and so you really have to put a lot of coats on to get a decent thickness out of it. The paints from Walmart look actually better and brighter in the bottle and um, this is their Walmart folk art series of paints and they've got green, magenta, and yellow. These two yellows are the same. I just put a thicker coat on this one see if I get more glow out of it. As far as the powders go, I got powders from two different manufacturers. These over here are from Glow Nation and this is their green which is the you know green seems to be the most powerful potent color they have so I put green in the upper left hand corner oh, except for this one um, and these powders are very fine and I believe they're strontium based I'm not 100% sure but anyway they have some that have color during the day and have the same color when they glow others are just like white or off white uh, but under the darkness when they give off their glow they're different colors these are from Glow Nation these down here are from Glow Mania USA and they again these are pigmented so that they look like in the day what they're going to look like when they glow okay so what we're going to do now is I'm going to set up the camera in the bathroom which is the only room in my house which does not have a window and I'm going to set the camera up and then uh, I'm going to bring this in real quickly from uh, charging up in the sunlight so we can get a comparison of how all these things glow And you can see here that they're all glowing very bright. It looks actually brighter on the camera. But the other store-bought brands, the Martha Stewart, the Walmart, and the Home Depot are garbage. They can't even see them. They can't see them in the camera. They're barely visible by the naked eye. I don't even, why I know, don't even know why they sell that garbage. So the stuff you get from the online sites is a much, much better quality stuff. The green is absolutely fantastic. And this color here looks a little bit more like white. Um, 
it's actually aqua. This is supposed to be the white. Um, in the camera, the color is a little off. This is a little bit more like a swim pool green. Um, that's about the right color. These are about the right color. So uh, the camera isn't representing the colors exactly, but the brightness is definitely represented well. So if I was going to use one for a sensor, it would probably be this guy up here or this guy here. Okay, that coming back from the experiment again. I wouldn't buy. I wouldn't spend money on these uh, ones you buy in the store. They're garbage. Um, you're better off with the online ones. You're going to pay a lot more for them. Okay, but uh, they're worth it. And the powders look to be a better deal, only because a lot of the online literature says that when you mix these with water-based uh, carriers, for lack of a better word, that actually ruins the glowing effect. That may be the reason why these guys really sucked bad. Uh, these guys are pretty good, even though you know they're they're in a water-based medium. Uh, so in order to get these things to maintain their quality, we've got to find a way to mix them with something that's not water-based. Like like I said before, like a clear epoxy and come up with a method for doing that. Um, uh, this one is the green one. This is white, which appeared blue, but it actually looked uh, white. This one is agua, which appeared white, but is actually blue. It's something to do with my camera. I don't know, because when you look at it, the colors come out right. This one's light blue. They also have a dark blue, which I didn't put on there because I just didn't have room. To, I guess I could have stuck it up there. but um, And then they have these ones, which are pigmented, so you know what their color in the day is as opposed to their color at night. Um, and these were the other ones. These weren't too bad either. This blue pigment seemed to last a long time. Uh, but this, these green ones here had the best. And these are rated, you know, they rate them as like their number ones anyway. So again, this is from Glow Nation. These are from, from Glow Mania, and these are from Glow Inc. Uh, don't buy the ones you don't bother with the ones in the store. They're garbage. Uh, thank you.